We should have seen it. It's quite something. I'm amazed that all those people out there so sweetly and uh, bravely stayed out there in that weather. They were amazing. Yeah, it did get rather wet rather quickly. Yes. Yeah. Now, you have played some strange characters in your time. Yeah. Really? Come on. Edward Scissorhands, not that normal. Uh, you know, Jack Sparrow, a little bit out there. The Mad Hatter, though, he must be the craziest. What are your thoughts? Well, I think the, the thing with the Mad Hatter is, uh, at least for me, is the idea of being crazy and, and being unaware of it, which is probably freedom. But being crazy and, and having some semblance of knowledge of it is, could be a bit traumatizing. And in terms of his look, I think I, I read somewhere that you described it as one of the more normal looks you've had in a, in a Burton movie. That, that can't be right, can it? Well, I mean, you know, we, we, we've done some strange things together in, in, in that sense, character-wise. But, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, after after Wonka, um, after Willy Wonka, it, it was a bit of a challenge, you know, to, uh, to come up with something a, a little bit different. But, no, I, I, I thought the Hatter was exact, I mean, in terms of the look, in terms of it, it was, was right for what was uh, required. He is, he's a great character. You have fun with accents as well, and, 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 the, and the costume seems to change colour with your mood. He's a, he's a really unique creation. Well, one of the things, thank you, one of the things that Tim and I talked about early on was the idea that this guy would be, in, in a sense, some, like a human mood ring, you know, like a, he could, um, like he could go from, from extreme, extreme uh, uh, levity to extreme uh, uh, rage to, to absolute and abject, utter fear. In the, in the span of about five seconds, so um, that's what I, I mean. I hope I pulled it off. That's what I tried to do. Well, I, I personally think you did. I, I saw the movie recently. It's fantastic. Now it's your sixth collaboration with uh, with Tim Burton. I, what what is it about that working relationship that the pair of you have that, that just keeps you coming back and it's still so enthusiastic? I mean, well, I mean, it, 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 it's a it's a the process. It's and, and I adore the process as well. And there's there, I don't know what it can't be really defined. I don't know. There's something that works. Uh, uh, when we when we uh, sort of uh, you know hit the trenches together in a way, um, it's 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 funny because it hasn't changed in all these years. Like since Edward Scissorhands back in 1990 or whatever, it's still exactly the same process. But every time I get the phone call from Tim, I'm I'm overjoyed. Um, there is one particular word that sticks out in this movie that people come across: fudder whacking, uh, which is something that you specialize in and do exhibit in the film. What can you tell us about fudder whacking? Right then, it's time to uh, find out a little about the charity that this event is supporting this evening. It's the Prince's Foundation for Children and the Arts, which helps educate children in the arts. And here's a little about what they do.